Tijdens het BI-event in Hoeverlaken van 17 mei 2011 sprak ik kort even met Kevin Quinn, VP Marketing van Information Builders. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you. It's very nice to be here, Hans. Um, uh, looking at the Gardner's Magic Quadrant, uh, everybody's in the leader's quadrant, yes, right? Yes, <laughs> it is. Everybody's there now. So it looks like they're all offering the same kind of a platform, the same kind of solutions. Yeah. But that's not true, is it? No, it's not. As a matter of fact, I think that a, uh, a lot of people focus on the things uh, that their executives want in their dashboards, which is always an important thing. But what we uh, focus on uh, at Information Builders is helping people build BI applications that can get information out to frontline workers, people who are constantly on the go, people who are making decisions uh, on a daily basis, the, the salespeople in the field, the technicians in the field. And that's where we find the biggest impact. The ROI really comes from applications that uh, allow people on the front lines to get, uh, a ret uh, um, get information that they couldn't get access to before. Uh, very often those dashboards the executives look at they don't have an ROI. They simply make the executive more well-informed, but they don't have an ROI because there's not something that's necessarily tied to it. But when you put information in the hands of frontline workers, you change the way that people fundamentally work. And, and that's uh, something that we do. And sometimes that's a challenge for other companies because of what you need to put in the hands of those people is, is sometimes it's operational, it's real time, it's information that they can act and react on uh, uh, efficiently. And uh, that's some of the things that people find challenged uh, from some of the other vendors that are in that magic quadrant. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you don't go simply to a shop and buy yourself uh, information builders implemented. Uh, you got your b BI platform. No, mm -hmm. no. The, uh, you really, you're thinking about what's the strategy of the company, where can I affect the business? What things can I do on the front lines that can affect the business? One of the common things that we see people doing today are what we call customer facing BI applications. Not the BI for the executives, but the BI for your customers and partners out there. Um, that's driving customer loyalty, giving information to your customers that they don't get from other vendors like you. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, one utility company that provides a, a way of managing energy for 420,000 of its customers. Uh, so they manage their energy consumption through a web focus or information builders application. And then they're less likely to defect from that utility vendor because they're getting something from that vendor that other utility vendors don't don't provide. Mm -hmm. That's another way that people are using information to drive drive customer loyalty as an example. And how is information builders uh, coping with the new hypes like uh, mobile, uh, uh, social media, cloud? Uh, yeah, mo uh, certainly iPads and, mm -hmm. and mobile have become uh, the, the biggest hype I think in, in, in recent memory. Uh, one of the things that we've done is we've created a technology, we call it active technologies, and it's, what, what it is is actually it's putting um, the business intelligence and the data inside of a document that can be emailed to people. Mm -hmm. And they can receive it on their mobile phone, or they can receive it on their iPad, or they can receive it in their office email. Um, but what they get is an attachment, it's a very tiny attachment, looks like an HTML file, but it's a completely interactive BI environment. So you can email it to a million people or a billion people at really no cost in a sense. It's unlimited deployment. So you can package up BI and give it to people in little little uh, bites and they can get it on their mobile device and it works, it supports gesturing and all that capability uh, of the local device that you're on. So mm -hmm. it'll work differently than on your desktop than it will on your iPad, than it will on a, a Droid phone as an example. Uh, but it it's exploits the features of the phones and the mobile devices to be able to do that. Uh, it's one of the un one thing that's unique compared to other BI vendors is it's not an app for the iPad. It's a thing that will exploit the capabilities of any browser. So uh, it'll work anywhere, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we're working on that, uh, that we've delivered uh, in our most recent release. And the cloud? Yes, the cloud. So obviously, that's a, 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 a you know another hype thing that's going on right now. And we'll be seeing a lot of large organizations uh, are actually all doing it. It's really about virtualization. A lot of large organizations are doing that already. Um, and it's not so much about the cloud necessarily as how do I get things, uh, how do I uh, virtualize things is one thing. But the other thing is how do I kind of integrate what I have in my back office with the things that I'm starting to use that are on the cloud. And that's one of the challenges that we're helping people with is integrating information that they have in their office along with the information that they're beginning to use on the cloud. And even outside sources of information where they can bring it together and increase the value of all the information. Uh, by integrating the in back office, the cloud information, mm -hmm. and the external mm -hmm. sources of information together. Thanks a lot. Thank you.